Hey all, welcome back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Surprise! I know I said we weren't going to cover the post game, but I've done all the busy work, so why don't we go and save Leon Soul? Yeah, because uh, Tom just messaged me. He's like, yo, are you ready to go right now? And I'm like, I guess I am. Oh. And uh, since he had completed all of the Leon soul fragment searching, mm -hmm. we're going to get to show off the true ending. Yeah, so what you do in these levels, like Tanner said, they're basically compacted versions with some bits edited out just to streamline it. You go through these levels, you collect the Leon Soul shards. There's 300 and all spread over these levels. And I got them all, so uh, all that's left is to go to Lab Discovery and see what's what. The Forgo Land. Very exciting. And I believe we do this and then we go to the Colosseum for the true final boss. Mm-hmm. It's usually how Kirby games tend to go these days. Oh, that that's creepy. Yeah, I don't like that. Everyone's bugging out. Now, we weren't actually here with Elflin the last time, at least on the run-up, so, uh... uh. Oh, poor Leon. That's his real name, by the way. And Chloraline is actually Carol. Uh, one of the trophies I got for getting all the shards basically said Carol couldn't understand Leon after he got possessed by Forgo over here. Because obviously she only speaks in meows. He started speaking in English, quote unquote. So uh, it's a rather sad state of affairs. Here we go. That's the king of the beasts we know and love. <laughs> I like how he's following it. Yeah! Oh, I'm so glad we recorded this just for that. Oh, what a little friend! Uh-oh, friend no more! You son of a bitch, let him go! I guess we're not done yet. No, there's always gotta be more bosses. Do you know what? I'm gonna stick with sword. That works. Sword is nice for its invincibility. I see you came in with a boosted attack, which is quite nice. You can't hit me, ha 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 ha. You could literally just do this and beat him by chip damage on your shield. Ah. I was gonna say, where's my sword? Give me back my precious sword. It's okay. We're taking the easy route, the bitch route, if you will, but, uh, Tanner's a busy man. He's got places to be, people to teach, and, you know, I got other shit to do as well, so... And my view is, if it's in the game, it's perfectly valid. There's no such thing as cheating unless you're modifying the game. Oh, Now what's gonna happen? I don't like that. Mm. Leave him alone. Jesus, find another host or something. Oh, that's not good. That's a lot of shock waves. Oh, wow, come on. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch. I'm gonna watch and I'm gonna learn. It is so nice that you can move with your shield up. Now the downside of having like impenetrable defense here with a uh, level two sword is that it takes a long time for your attacks to come out. Mm-hmm. And even once you do the attack, you're vulnerable for a little bit. That's cool, though. Just gotta take it where I can get it, really. Those jump attacks are nice, too, because he's a big target, so being able to hit him multiple times... Taking a bit more of a... Uh assertive role in this fight this time. 
Well, he's no longer in the contaminant chamber there, right? He's actually able to uh, come out and do that. Okay, that was just Crash. <laughs> I'm sure he's talking about the power and not the uh, video game character though. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, just Crash Bandicoot comes out. Whoa! Oh, so he's literally just acting as a stand right now. Great! Yeah, I gotta keep on my toes here. <laughs> Be my second set of eyes, please. I will definitely warn you of stuff coming out. That guard. You're safe. Get him, get him while he's down. Actually, I'd guard. No, you're good. Oh, hey, convenient. Oh, interesting. A little butterfly. No way. Do you know what this butterfly is? Oh, I think I do. No, I haven't fought him before, but this dude is a mean motherfucker. Oh snap, he's here. Oh boy, and here's me with my one health bar. Well, thankfully we have the ultimate in defense, so we can learn his strats. Now, logic dictates he should be fairly similar to the Med Knight fight. Oh, interesting. Loving the music. Why is he here, though? This is what I want to know. So, th that was a thing. Uh, in the opening, there is a butterfly, and I remember people, when the opening was first shown off, they said, I wonder if that's Morpho Knight. Uh, he got sucked to the planet, too. What other games has he appeared in, mate? He's, uh, he's familiar to me, but I don't really know that much about him. Well, uh, Morpho Knight first appeared in the original Kirby game, because in every Kirby game, there's a butterfly in the opening cutscene with Kirby. And it's him. He's always been watching Kirby through every single adventure. It took until Star Allies for them to actually make him be a real character who fights Kirby. Because in that game, you thought you were going to fight Galactonite. Because Galactonite has been the secret boss of a bunch of Kirby games leading up to that. And, uh, and then Galactonite gets one-shotted by this guy, who is a butterfly. Uh, Galactonite is a whole other... <laughs> Barrel of fish, a kettle of fish, if you will. I believe he showed up as like a bonus thing in the Meta Knight's Revenge. Yes, he was the true final boss of Meta Knight's Revenge. Sorry if I'm going a bit slow on this, I just want to be careful. Jesus. Yeah, so I, I guess I should say I have not seen any of this. I didn't actually get through all the Leon content. Mostly because by that time I was getting pretty pretty done with the game. I kind of rushed through it. So this is new for me. Might have to go for a two for here, but I'll do what I can. Yeah, just a nice combo when you're free. Don't know what that does yet. Yeah, and it's scary. Oh, now he's now he's angry. Oh, what?
ridiculous. Oh my god. That's anime, for sure. Whoa! Kirby? Should eat those mushrooms, bro! <laughs> Luigi, this isn't Wade! <laughs> How long does this last? It's going for a while. There you go. Maybe it goes by damage done to him. Getting a little bit too greedy here. Send out multiple souls there. Oh, that's... This is a lot on screen right now. Really? Weird angle. Weird angle. Don't like it. The last hit of this does an extended fire projectile, so hold shield. Oh, he gave you the schmicks by staying away. Ooh, hit that guard! I don't even like how those projectiles look. They're creepy. It's just, uh, Fargo. I know, but I don't like how he looks. Ah! Well, not bad for try one. Ooh, does this start from Leon? I have no idea. I guess we can check, and if it does, then we can just exit and go get some items anyways. <laughs> I didn't say it was the post-game, not the perfect post-game. Oh no! Okay! God bless. So now we just have to avoid... I mean, we can still uh, do the uh, Bayonetta dodging, which is still still useful for sure. Honestly, this is much better because, like I said, while you can shield perfectly with the level 2 sword ability, you can't dodge. Your things are ricocheting off the walls because they're right angles. That's some good damage on the rebound. Ouch. Oh, that's what makes it go crazy is his little butterfly things. Because Japan always associates butterflies with, like, confusion effects. I can hold this as long as need be, bro. Or until it runs out, I guess. Can I have my regular camera, please? That lasts way too long. Huge chunk of damage when it comes back. Oh, and it hit the ricochet too. Oh, nice, right on through. Thank you. He thinks he's so cool. I mean, to be fair, he kind of is. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, right on back through him.
It seems to do that in threes now. Wow, that has more range. Ah, ha, ha. Back to normal, please? Yeah, I'm losing my confidence here. Like, please get any straight line in between me and my weapon. That would be super nifty keto. We know what to do for this. Just get hit right by the sword. Got it. <laughs> yeah! The ricochets! They won for us! Kirby, your power of home improvement has bested me. You are truly the greatest <laughs> warrior. You have now been given the title of Tim the Toolman Taylor. Diddle 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 Oh. The Morpho Knight Sword Blueprint. So I have seen this and I didn't know that you got it from battling him. I thought it was just a reference. It's wild. You alright there, Leon? You just chilling? I mean, you've got your sword back. You should be fine now. Bro? Please don't say I have to get another 300 pieces. Hammer is dead. It's okay. The fam is here. The power of pussy will save him. Like a cat. I mean a cat. Meow, etc. Alex the Lion is born again! Ah. The king and the queen of the beast pack. Well, time to repopulate. Oh boy. Silly Dillo being there just drags things down a little bit. At least he didn't bring his wife along. Wives, plural. Continue. If there were any cutscenes that I missed, I can find them in the theater. Now I do think that there might be something new in our home as well. There we go. That's what I want. Oh boy. Thank you, Nerdle D. Very cool. I need someone to make that nerd gif with him. You gotta have to be a bit more specific. The one of the nerd emoji with where it zooms in on him a bunch of times. No, still not, still not seeing it. What am I looking at? Here? New photos. Oh yeah, there we go. Top right. Yeah. Hmm, and some other ones that uh, we didn't get in our playthrough, like you did the Tilt and Tumble, which... How did that uh, bonus one go? Uh, I didn't do the bonus one. <laughs> oh boy, enjoy! Uh, I watched uh, Vinny do it just now before we start recording, and uh, he had a fun time, let's say. What are you buying? This, obviously. I'll take it to go. But I'm not buying one of those things, because I can get it for free. It's 
time to use the patented Tada technique. I don't even know what a Morpho Knight is, but it sounds pretty hype. Well, Morpho is uh, the Latin root for butterfly. Ah, okay. God, how much is that going to be? Jesus. Well, I do have a code that can give us a thousand coins if you'd like. Okay, we're going to do that now. Well, I'd like you to go to the Kirby statue and check behind it. Elflin did tell me there was a, uh, a thing somewhere around here. You want to talk to him. Thank you, Kirby. Ah, oh. yeah, we got golden statues for uh, getting all the Waldies. Yeah, so that's your present code. You bring it into uh, the mail D because, I mean, they couldn't just give us the money. They had to give us the runaround. There you go, Kirby. Remember, don't sign up for NFTs or crypto. Alright, Frank. Kirby. So, fun fact, uh, remember last time we used the one Kirby story, the code for some? Do you know what that's a reference to? No, actually. In Mario and Luigi, there's posters for oh. a movie called Kirby Story. Yes, in the Yoshi Theater. Yeah, and so you find, you actually can find the code in the movie theater in this game. Very cool. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Let me just uh, give the theater a quick scan to make sure we haven't missed anything, because there are actually three endings to this. There's the true ending, there's the secret ending, and then there's the 100% ending, I believe. We're premiering a new movie today. Interesting. True ending. Please take your seats. I've never used this. This is adorable. I mean, we didn't show this off, so... Ah, oh, what the hell? We can watch this. Sure, why not? If it's gotten if it's got enough new photos to warrant being called the true ending, we gotta see it. Mm -hmm. So this is where the uh, Forgo trials started. And it has like a different palette, and they are different levels in terms of the enemies and stuff. Enough that for a lot of them, they do feel different. However, you are still running through mostly the same stuff, so not 100% worth watching, especially finding all the uh, the Leon fragments, which a uh, little annoying, right? A couple were, but the fact that Elflin tells you when you found everything in an area means you don't have to go through a door without finding them all. There were only a couple throughout like all six worlds which were one and done, which I appreciated. Yeah, no, that is nice. I, I did I did get to try that out there, but at the same time, I was just like, uh, I couldn't be asked to do it. Just other games came out. My cat when I rustle the food. Jesus Christ. I do like the neon aesthetic of the bosses. It reminds me of, like, laser tag. Well, they're all phantoms, so... Uh... Say hello to my wives, Kirby. Me and my neon wives. Ooh, neon wife sounds like a good band name. <laughs> it's like a couple letters away from a redub of neon white. When you fight a lion who's lost his soul. This is a Kirby game. What the fuck were you expecting, you tool? There's so many people who have no idea how Kirby games end. Someone watching that, whenever they announce a new one, they're just like, ah, oh, whatever, it's another Kirby game. And like, you have no idea. You have no idea what awaits you. If you like games by Platinum Games, you should like Kirby, because by the end, they're about the fucking same. This one in particular, with the 3D action and the way you dodge and stuff, it feels the same. 
Warfare Knight was pretty tricky, but uh, with the buzz saws, I think we have a good strategy on our hands. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Aww. And with uh, potentially another stronger weapon. Go here, Kirby. Your destiny awaits in the arena. <laughs> we ain't done yet. And one thing I will say that I've learned, this game is really nice. In other games, if you die in the arena, you have to do the whole thing over. That is not the case in this one. Thank God. I know, because uh, some of them are tricky, for sure. Yeah, I, I remember trying out the one in Robobot. Is that the one where you have to, like, cheese it with leaf? Uh, in a lot of the 3DS ones, you had to cheese it with something. I think it was um, Archer in... Triple Deluxe, because he could just hide behind an obstacle and he was safe permanently, with the exception of the final boss's final secret attack, which is the only thing that hits. So that wasn't fun. Yeah, there we go. That was fun. Imagine living, like, right next door to a comfy theatre like that. That'd be nice. Also, maybe annoying, considering you might be, you know having unruly patrons coming out at night, but uh, it'd still be nice. I mean, they're all Waddle Dees, mate, so I don't know what you're worried about. That's very true. And now, my perfect creation. Very cool. So, I do want you to experiment around with it, because I have seen something that it does that uh, I think you will like. Holy shit, there's even a new treasure road? Oh! Oh, I'm glad we got to show that off, because developing and evolving these powers was a huge part of what made Forgotten Lands so special and memorable to me. Alright, let's go check this out. Yo, I'm glistening. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You get your big sword. Oh my god, that's so powerful. So you get not only the big sword, but you also get the speed of the small sword. Okay, so you don't get the Meta Knight combo, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to stick with this. Oh yeah, well, uh, check check to see if you can um, enhance it as well. Because uh, now that you're in the post-game, those rare stones can be used to enhance them further. True, true, but I just spent most of my money. I don't know how much it costs, so you might want to check. I, it was another one of those things that, like, I know it exists, I just don't know how much it costs. Now, this is the trick that Tanner taught me the previous time, and I actually used this to great effect during those Forgo Isle things, the illusory Isles. Basically, Deep Sleep, which is the evolved form of sleep, will uh, heal you completely, like regular sleep, but on top of that, it will give you a random ability. As you can see, I got speed, and that can be stacked. You can get more stuff like, you know, dual power, and also, you know, the second life bar. The biggest thing you want is a second life bar. And there are even a couple locations where um, you can get sleep as an ability just out there given to you. So if you're out and about and you're like, man, I kind of want a second life bar, you can just keep getting sleep until you get this now. Yeah, there we go. Twenty five hundred. Oh yeah, no, there's not even enough for codes with that. Jesus, and I don't have any rare stones, so. Well, before we go to the thing, let's do this treasure road. Shouldn't take us too long. Oh, right in the corner. Right where the butterflies are, because of course. Can't believe I didn't notice that before. Bring the pain. We're gonna get round arenas? Okay. Interesting. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. I cannot be stopped. So going big does not reset your counter for how long you have it. You still need to uh, power it up again. Okay, it's not like it's every time you pop it, you're good. Slither's gonna get destroyed. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, very similar to a thing in Super Mario 3D World. I mean, yeah, this feels very similar to a lot of stuff. I mean, this reminds me a bit of, like, the Robot Masters in Mega Man there. Oh, we're gonna get mini-bosses? Two of them. Okay. Gonna have to... There we go. Even that does incredible damage. And the fire lingers now. Sick. Uh, and one other thing I will say, uh, it is also invincible to guard with it, too. Oh my god, and it leaves the tornadoes! Oh, that's nice. Oh, you used it, okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't lose this. No, she got for us there. Lava? What's that gonna be? It's me. I want them to immediately take damage now that they're standing on lava. Oh. That's not fair. Oh my god, brought him to his second phase immediately. So many durians! <laughs> I've never seen him drop durians like that, huh? Live tatter reaction of durian frog. Oh man. Shoutouts to durians, the smelliest fruit. There's just something just seems rude about you saying that. I don't know why. I felt sorry for the durians then. No, but for real, durians are so smelly that most chefs need to have a separate room where they cut the durians in at restaurants. I get that, but at the same time, you know? Oh my god, death slowly approaches them. This dude has no idea what's coming towards him with these fire tornadoes. Yoink. At the end, it's just Bad Night with a gun. <laughs> See, I was gonna say it's gonna be Morpho Knight himself, and he's like, Fight me! No, my power! I do love how, you know, they made an original Final Smash for Meta Knight, and then they're like, by the way, we're going to put that in uh, Kirby Superstar is just something you can do. Buy tornadoes better. I mean, with our sword beams, we could just stay here and just slash at them. So many tornadoes. What are we in? Tornado Alley, the section of the United States that has the most tornadoes every year? Maybe so, Tanner. Very specific, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh. I like platforms bearing treasure. Big cash, and hey, look, we did it before even our stuff ran out, though we'll need some more for the arena. Nice. I mean, I, it was really helped by our boosted attack for sure, but yeah. Now, how much did that actually give me? Because I wasn't paying attention. I didn't actually see, and numbers are hard. Again. 
the treasure roads were one of my favorite parts. I'm glad I got to see them to completion on the actual playthrough. Yeah. Seven hundred and fifty five, huh? Alright, time to suit up, and then it's the final encounters plural. Thank you very much. I think one of the first ones that most people get for the special figurines is the cafe waddle dee being like, you're my favorite customer, here's my, uh, here's my thing. Gotcha for luck. <laughs> Just make the gotcha with Morpho Knight Kirby the thumbnail. I think I might do, actually. It, I mean, it's everything. Peace of Leon Sol. Oh, that, that tracks. <laughs> it's kind of wild that someone made, like, this metaphysical concept into a gotcha figure. <laughs> Grandma's coffin. No, <laughs> why? It's not cool, bro. I'm feeling cheap, it's fine. Oh, for sure. Take it. Imagine buying food from someone, chugging it in front of them, and then going back to buy more from them. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done that, like, once or twice. Actually, no, I bought one thing, and then I was like, you know what, I might want another one for later. Because I am a fatty fat fatty fat. So I was just like, okay. And the dude was like, sure, because why would he care? <laughs> like, I'm helping his business. Exactly. It's his, It's You're just literally doing the customer procedure again. All right. That should be good enough. I don't know why my voice cracked there. Whatever. It's time to kick some ass. Hey, there he is. Now, it says in one of the figurines, I believe it's Meta Knight versus Gorimondo, that he and Gorimondo, Meta Knight that is, have fought 30 times when Meta Knight was defending the town, and Meta Knight won every single one. Nice. Here we are, the Ultimate Cup Z. Let's fucking go. I can't commentate over the bells. I have no purpose in life. It's okay, bro. Don't worry about it. Oh, they're all tiny. Oh, so we only get small heels, I guess. Well, I got a full one just in case. It's actually going to be my first time seeing some of the uh, the phantom move sets here. I think I only got up to, uh, I think, the second world. Whoa, that's cool. Fucking raw, bro. Bet you that's even a hundred percent invincible since you disappear. That's really good. Oh, why you run? Oh my god. Disgusting. Granted, this is with the power up, but even then, Morpho and I, holy shit. Now, I wonder if these grow over time if you leave them. Usually that's not the case in the arenas. Usually it's you eat the Maxim tomato and then there's a leftover regular tomato, but I don't know. Oh god, what's this data Zemix bullshit? why when you picked up her uh, her one there there was a bunch of her Let's 
Sick. Might treat myself to a little tidy tomato, why not? You can have a little tomato as a treat. As a treat. Alright, next up, some mini bosses. Which honestly, in some ways, they're kind of harder just because of them being mini bosses. Bro, <laughs> it's so good. Oh, did you get a chance to use the mass DDD power? I did, it's pretty cool. It's pretty good. You get a lot of stuff with it. Also, oh my god, rip to you. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. This feels like bullying. No, it's fine. We worked hard for this. Uh, next up is... Illusiary Woods, I think. Yeah, it's a lowland, wispy woods, uh, shiny. Shiny and EV trained. Yeah. He was actually kind of hard, because I fought him with Bob, and I really shouldn't have done that. Now, Kirby, solve my maze! How could you? Really, I deserve that. For <laughs> my little soul patch and everything. Aggressive trees get aggressive uprooting. Oh, Jesus. Now, I actually just fought... Oh, not this DDD. I fought the one in uh, the Fireland. No, we sell. We have DDD 1 here. Yeah, take that damage while you can. No! No way he doesn't use the sausages! Slowly moving sausages. The power I possess. <laughs> I'm like unto a god. It's so good. Whoa! Some circles call him the Pink Demon. Ah, uh, not untrue. Hey, Mr. Frosty, who killed the dinosaurs? It was Morpho Knight! <laughs> Honestly, just disgusting. Oh, I'm so glad we decided to record this. Oh yeah, no, even even just for the catharsis of this. Do you reckon I should keep it that first attempt on Morpho Knight? I think so. I think it was a good learning attempt for us. Oh lord, he coming. My man with the Zangief, you know, bear hug tech. Well, it still hit him. Now, what I learned is that is not a one-hit kill, but the one silly Dillo does is. Yes, I heard about that. I was reading that in the comments, and I was like, oh, man, it's a good thing I always dodge that. Whoa, watch out, that monkey's carrying a tornado, carrying a rock. Carrying another tornado. It's just recursive, really. Ah, what the hell. Yeah, might as well. Matt and I has trained for weeks for this encounter. He has no idea what's coming. Oh, I don't want to grab that, though. It's a downgrade. Never mind. It's sword is sword, bro. I'm not an illusion. Never mind, I guess I kind of am. Just goth face. The lone illusion. It's 
good practice for uh, when we have to fight Morpho Knight again. Oh, yo, he's smooth too. God, it's so cool still. Ow. We still gotta be cool. Might need a few tomatoes. Indeed. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting him to just explode. That's fine. I let my guard down, though. And we still got our max tomato. Just the camera work there made it tough to see what was going on. Hey, you're in lava. Come on. That should hurt you. Or however it goes. God. This is someone at HAL being like, hey, remember that one Mario, you know, boss fight in uh, Mario 64 with Bowser in the lava world? We could do that better. Yeah. Ah, they hope. There's definitely been an increase in difficulty in the last few. Not actually sure how much that was. I don't think it's said because I was looking all over the screen. As long as we have that second life bar, we have our sword beams, which is so useful. Oh my god, that ripped through that face. Just enough time for a refreshing drink. <laughs> yeah, right in that little cutscene. You take him when you can get him. And say you got time here. Big damage, and your shots even home too. Good, it's what I deserve. I'm a fucking queen. <laughs> I was gonna say like one more hit and you got it pretty much. <laughs> Fat stacks, bro. Yeah, it does not say anywhere how much you get. You gotta count your winnings at the end. Oh, 
Oh, I wanted him to be right there. I get a few slashes. I love how they home right in after. Yeah, it's so good. Thank God for this like attack up. I would not have attempted this otherwise. Oh, that's new. Oh, and a little cherry. Yeah, nice. And now here's the true final boss. Here we go. No words, Kirby. Let us fight. It is a recolor, but dang, is it a good one. Oh, shit. I'm just ripping through. Yo, summon swords! Oh, that's cool with the slowdown. Let's go, bro. Phase two, just you and me. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been healing noise you've been hitting the enemy sometimes. Apparently, this weapon also sometimes heals you when you hit the enemy. Okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's... Oh my god! He does not like that. Where you going, bro? I need to find the one that is the right one. Oh, it's the bottom corner there. Yeah, it's the one that the rays of light are converging on. That's fine. Where's my sword? Oh my god. Can you even dodge that without this power? I'm not sure. Where's the sword? Sometimes I lose track of myself, okay? And thankfully, they, they stay around for long enough. It's not like some Kirby's. Those are so fast! Yeah, just spam dodge. <laughs> this, this, this is Zeno Blade music. Nice. Get that and get some damage on him, too. That should be... Oh my god. Right, the dome mouth. Get off of there. Come on, Kirby. Suck it like you never sucked before. What is going on? 
I have no idea. And here oh! Whoa, there's another phase. Well, it's a good thing we still have our Max Tomato. We'll hold on to it for a bit, though. Mm -hmm. Jesus. The master CPU out of Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, I'd pop that heal. Keep that second life bar so we can use sword beams. I do not like how the background music is just, and here we are, because that implies a lot. Nice, that'll hit. Oh, so close! Good thing its hitbox seems to also be the ground beneath it. Oh. Oh. What is he doing? Oh, I heard about this. Do you have to hide behind it? Wow. That's crazy. Oh my god! Such violence! There goes my second thing. The good news is, we still got a whole life bar. Christ. Whoa, those are so fast. Whoa, that is really sucking you in. I love how this 3D game ends with 3D platforming as the final boss attack. Really? Come on. Come on, do that damage! Yes! Oh, baby, that was close! <laughs> that was satisfying, yeah. Come on, you got a third form. Anti-truck. <laughs> it's just a environmental protester. Elflin's just like, Jesus, Kirby, is this how it always ends with you? Kirby's just like, Poyo! Yeah, pretty much. Oh.
I will keep him within me, Kirby. Forcing him down under layers and layers of goodness. Mmm, he tastes like mint chocolate chip. Don't you worry, Elphalyn. If you ever turn evil, I'll come back to the Forgotten Lands and fucking eviscerate you. <laughs> Kirby's like, you thought what I did to him was bad. Wait till I knock back five of those attack drinks. That went down to the wire. I was worried we were going to have to redo that. Oh, for sure. I was like, oh man, if we get this right at- if we die right at the end, I would have screamed. Whew. Good lordy lord. Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here's your hard-won reward. I mean, cool, there's literally no greater challenge left for us. There he is. That's raw. And actually, uh, something that's kind of interesting with both of the Elphilis, um figurines, if you go to the model viewer, their eyes follow you. Oh, we'll have to check that out. And a unique convergence of elements from native beast souls to ethereal butterfly gave a stubborn soul one last chance at revenge. This creation driven by pure chaos was defeated by the bright light of Kirby's hope. The last bit of life that remained willingly returned to Elphilin. At last, two became one. Freaking Dark Souls writing. <laughs> that was uh, a little treat for myself. Yes, I got them all. You gonna give me a fig? Yeah. I was being spoiled here. I mean, the gameplay was enough. Can you imagine if someone said, I have a gift for you, and then they hand you a small figurine of themselves? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh. Just me stabbing Chaos Elf like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Blood dripping down Kirby's face. Ten photos in total. Try to reach 100% become a master of all things Kirby. Uh, well, that will be for my own time, because that's where Gacha comes in. Oh, interesting. I have heard about this where, yeah, it's like if you're at the point where you're just like, I have one figure I can't get, you can just get a new one from him for rare stones, which you can grind through uh, going through the Coliseum over and over. Disgusting. Yeah, just, you know, to get it even more powerful. <laughs> just take out Morpho Knight in one hit. So yeah, you can upgrade even the base level powers to get to the same level of power as their ultimate one. So this one only took one and it was maxed out. Other ones you can like level up, say your level one sword if you prefer that to be as powerful. That's freaking disgusting. Goodbye. It was so powerful I just kept running into a wall. Oh. Hearing the music? A new little festival remix. That's kind of like a uh, Jupiter Life Town in um, Legends. I love that sort of thing. Yeah, there we go. Very cool. Here's more Kirby games. Which one are you gonna buy? I can't believe they they didn't make it so you press A on them and it doesn't open up like the shop for you to get them. That would leave a lot of them left out, to be honest. Right, let's get rid of these news here. Where are his eyes? Show me the eyes. Do you see the the in the center? This would probably be better on the uh, original one. Yeah, the original is much clearer.
What? Did they patch it out? Because I 100% know that was a thing. I'm not putting that in my mind until I can tell you that much. <laughs> Maybe it, like, destroyed a child's fragile psyche, so they're like, okay, no, we'll update the game, get rid of it. Cowards. Alright, folks, this is... Move out of the way, Elfling. This is my game, not yours. This is truly the end of Kirby at the Forgotten Land. Tanner is on his way to a brand new part of his life, so he'll be absent from HFC for a little bit. As such, we'll see about what's coming next. It's not going to be Strive, we'll save that. Maybe I'll do it with Flame and Richie, maybe I'll wait for Tanner. But all you have to know is that Tanner is in good hands where he's going, and he'll be back with us as soon as can be, really. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for uh, coming on for this impromptu recording session, mate. No, absolutely. I think this was a great way to wrap it up. Plus, I didn't see most of this, so seeing this, like, I'm hype again. I'm like, I want to go do it now. Indeed. So, all right, folks, we'll see you next time for another HFC playthrough. Bye-bye. Ciao.